right here by me. I figured I would give her a little break from being right up in the camera. Um, so you guys get to look at me for a few minutes anyway. Um, but I wanted to film a video on what I bring when I bring, or what I bring with me when I am bringing Stasi with me anywhere. <laughs> um, now most of the time we are just going to and from the house to the studio, so I don't bring, you know, much. And I do keep everything at the studio that she needs. So she has her Rover pen at the studio. She has um, treats, she has toys, she has a bed, she has a water stand and a water bottle. So all of that stuff stays at the studio with her at all times. And I am not going very far, so I don't bring a water source. But if I was taking her somewhere where I knew I was gonna be going gone for hours, then what I would do and what I have done in the past, um, just a couple of times actually, is I take one of the smaller water bottles out of the stands, which is the little um, 32 ounce size, and I, I bring it empty, I empty it out, and I bring it with me empty, and I bring along a couple of bottled waters, and when I feel that she needs water, I just pour a little bit of the water into the water bottle and just hold it and she will drink right from the water water bottle like that so that's how I handle situations where you know we're going to be gone somewhere for a few hours and I know that she may need some water but on a normal everyday basis she has everything that she needs at the studio it's basically just doubles of everything that I have here but I do have her grooming bag that goes with me to the studio and also if we are going camping or taking them on vacation or anywhere like that, that grooming bag is always packed the same as I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes. And so I just, it's easy for me to just take that bag with us when we are traveling as well. So it kind of doubles as the traveling grooming bag and the normal everyday grooming bag as well. So I will show you the bag. Now, what this is, is a Vera Bradley large cosmetic bag. And I love these, but they are no longer available. So if you are interested in this exact bag, not the print, because there's bunches of different kinds of prints, but just the type of bag, you can still find them on eBay and Amazon. And it's called the Large Cosmetic Tote, I think it's called. And I really love it because it's perfect to hold every single thing that we need. So I am gonna put the bag down, take the camera off of the tripod or do something with it and show you exactly what's inside. Okay, so this is my bag. And like I said, I love it. It's the perfect size and it is, um, it's just perfect for this. So it has a zipper and the, another reason why I like this bag is because it's a cosmetic bag, it's lined in like this vinyl stuff. So if anything would spill, it wouldn't be, you know, the end of the world because it is um, lined and then you can wipe it out. So what I will do is kind of take everything out the bag that we have in here so that you can see what's in it. And you're gonna notice that it's all the same products that I use here at the grooming table but I will show you what I have. So the first thing is the Beautifer cologne, my very favorite cologne for my dogs. And then I have the Picture Perfect Styling Cream for Top Knots, and this is by Show Premium Products. I have my Paw Marks Drying Powder. I have the Clarity No Rinse Stain Remover, which is so, by Show Premium. It's what I use to clean her face. I have a oblong, let me take the hair out of there, an oblong Chris Christensen 27 millimeter pin brush. I have, it's like a what's in my bag video. <laughs> For humans except for dogs. Um, this is a seven and a half inch Chris Christensen butter comb. So that stays in the bag. 
And then I have a small, how many ounces is this? Two ounce bottle of the Not Anymore Detangler by Show Premium. I have my favorite leave-in conditioner, which is the Show Premium Coat Therapy. I have my NutriVet Eye Rinse. And this is what I use to put um, the drops in her eyes and then also clean the fur to help it stay white. And then I have this little bag. Um, if you hear the dogs on the floor, Stasi is playing or either terrorizing poor Paris down there. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to this. So I have this little bag here, and I'm not sure where I got this little bag, but it's just a little small, like I guess, cosmetic bag. And then in the inside of this bag, let's see what we have. I never, I didn't go through this before I decided to film this, so we'll see what's in here. This is a brush that came with the Palmart drying powder. Stassi and Paris. Stop it. Stop. Okay, this is the brush that came with the Palmart drying powder. So this is in here. Also, the brush that I use most of the time to apply the drying powder, which is the Bare Essentials Max Coverage Concealer Brush. Any brush will do though, I, this is just my favorite. I have her elastics, and what I did is um, I just, this is the little bags that the Armco Penguin 5 16th size bands come in. So I just, um, you know, put one of these filled with the, that size in her bag. And then this is just a little bag that I got bows in. Um, and so I put some one quarter inch Armco bands in this one and that's for piggy tails. And then I have, oh, I have two bows in here that got, um, I guess I had taken these out at the studio. So we're gonna put those up where they belong. Also in the bag are my uh, band removal scissors. And if you can see this, it has a small hook on the end. Let's see if I can make the light a little bit better. There we go. So it has a little hook on the end and it catches the band. So I have a pair of those in there. I have the, you got little hair everywhere. Okay, this is the Chris Christensen Rat Tail Comb. And the last thing is my all time favorite comb. And this is the five inch little face comb by Chris Christensen. All right, so that is everything I keep in this little bag. And these just keep, it keeps the little stuff kind of together. And then let's see what we have. Um, this is the Moisture Unleashed Daily Coat Conditioner. This is what you would use before you brush a coat out because you don't wanna brush out um, a dry coat. So this just makes it damp and it's full because I usually don't give her a full brush out, you know, when we're at the studio because I usually do that at night. So, but if, you know, I needed it, and also because I use this bag when we are traveling, um, you know, I wanna make sure that I have every single thing that I would need for her in this one bag so that I don't have to go through my grooming table and like pick and choose and remember. So that way, all I need to do when we're traveling is pick the bows that she's going to be wearing and just stick the bows into the bag. And I have like a little container that I use for that. And um, I will show you that in a second. But this is uh, the, the um, daily coat conditioner. And then the last thing that I have in here is the Moisture Unleashed Shampoo and Conditioner. And these are also the little two ounce bottles of this. And 
you know, I always want to have this on hand just in case I would need to, um, you know, bathe her or do anything like that at the studio or while we are traveling. Also at the studio, I do have a grooming pillow. I have my mat, a mat just like this, and I have a blow dryer. So that is everything. That is a lot of stuff for one little dog. <laughs> But that is what I have. So that's everything that goes into the um, grooming bag. And then I do have the Viva paper towels both in, you know, the, the studio or at the studio and in the RV when we travel. So that is what I would use to clean her face. And so that is everything that is in her to-go bag. And then like I said, if I was to go anywhere with her, you know, on an outing or something, then I would bring along, of course, a harness, a leash, and a water bottle, and a bottled water for her water. So everything goes nice and neatly in this bag. And that's our grooming bag. And then I wanted to show you the little container that I was talking about that I use in the bag when we are traveling. And I'm actually gonna put this in the bag now because just like I had my bows, you know, I had these bows stuck in that little bag, that was not a very good way to, to you know, take care of the bows because our bows are expensive. So I think I'm gonna just keep this in the bag and then that way when I am changing out bows, um, even just going to the studio, if there's a reason why I need to take out a bow or something, I'll have my little container. Now, this container I got from this bow vendor, which is no longer in business. Um, this was bought years and years ago when I had my Yorkie, but it's perfect for the bows. But I'm showing you this because I'm sure that you can find something very similar to this um, at either the container store or I would think like Michael's, um, someplace like that. Because all it is is it's a container that has the little individual sections. And it works out really good to just put, you know, a couple of bows in there and then you have your individual sections and they won't get messed up in there. So this is that little container and this works out really, really well. All right, so that concludes this video on what is included in our traveling grooming bag and what we bring with us on small trips away from home. I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave that in the comment section below as well. I love listening to all of your suggestions and I'm always thinking of what else can I bring to this channel. And so you guys help me a lot by telling me what you want to hear and what you want to see. So as always, we thank you for subscribing. We love you guys and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye guys. Say bye. Bye, Jackie. Bye, girls. Bye guys. All right, so that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, uh, no, okay, third time. Third time is going to be the charm, right, Sassy? Third time is gonna be the charm? Yes, let's do it again, let's go. All right, thank you guys for watching so much. This portion, no, fourth time, maybe fourth time. You think the fourth time will work? What is the problem? Get it together. Get it together, girl. Okay. Why are you staring at me? Huh? Why are you staring at me? Okay, come on, we can do this. All right, so that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. What is included in our traveling grooming bag? So I hope this helped and I hope that you continue to watch us. We so enjoy um, the community that we are building. The community? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I think this is like the sixth time I've done this. This is terrible. 
What is my problem? Okay, come on. Get real, Roxanne. So that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. What is I, what, oh my God, what is my problem? Okay, this means that I have filmed too many videos today. That's what it means. Yeah, that's what it means. Okay, okay, really take like 142. Yes, because that's what it feels like. Hastasi, that's exactly what it feels like. All right, you ready? You ready, you've been ready, huh? Oh, excuse you. All right. Oh my goodness. All right, thank you guys for watching. Oh my God. Was that okay? Do you think? That concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video, which was what is included in our traveling grooming bag, or what was included when we forget what the hell we're going to freaking say. Oh.